Good morning, Mark here with My Engineering. Today we're going to do a quick video walkthrough uh, showing you how to set up an inspection template in Inovmetrics Polyworks uh, to inspect a production part. So for this scenario, we're going to be using one half of a leak enclosure. Um, we have a CAD file for this part and we're going to set up uh, the, the inspection, uh, all the dimensions that we need with the tolerances built in, it'll automatically generate a report. And then we can bring in our scan file, align it to the CAD, and uh, it'll automatically give us the results. And then every single subsequent piece that we produce, we can bring in the scan file for that, and uh, it will repeat the inspection uh, almost automatically. So let's take a look. All right, so just before we pop into Polyworks, I want to take a quick look. This is the technical drawing for the part that we're going to be inspecting. So this has all of our dimensioning and tolerances uh, listed here. A lot of it's very basic. There's nothing particularly difficult. Uh, however, there are a few things on here that uh, in 3D space is actually very easy to measure um, and very accurate. Uh, whereas if you're using a mechanical means, uh, you know, more of a traditional method of doing these inspections can be rather difficult. Uh, so if you look at the drawing, the, the picture on the left side here, um, you have the, the diameter of the holes, um, you know, it has to be 13 sixteenths, uh, but it also requires you to have the, the distance from center to center of these holes. And if you have any experience with that, um, how you would do that accurately um, if you're, you're doing a mechanical means is essentially you'd have to get the diameter of, of each hole, uh, divide that by two, and then add them together and then measure the distance between the holes uh, to get that, that accurate uh, two inch uh, measurement that you need. And so there's a lot of different measurements there. There's a little bit of math, which compounds, there's, there's a lot of room for error to get a, a really accurate reading. Whereas in 3D space, uh, what the software will do is it draws uh, a best fit cylinder inside that, that hole. And uh, you, so you have a perfect center line. It'll measure center line to center line. Uh, so it's a much more accurate way of measuring things like that. Um, and also rather quick in 3D space. Uh, other ones that can be a little bit challenging, you know, uh, there's a, a quarter inch radius here on the inside uh, of, of the, um, the cavity inside this part. Um, it also asks on the right hand side here. So this is where it gets a little bit more challenging. This measurement here, uh, where it's uh, 2.4 inches plus or minus uh, 10 thou, um, it's measuring the back wall to the center of the radius where it goes to this 45 degree. That can be really challenging to find the center of the, this little radius here um, mechanically, whereas in 3D space, what we'll do, and you'll see it in a little bit, is it will we'll generate a little cylinder shape on that radius and uh, we measure the back wall to the center line of that, that cylinder. So much more, it's, it's a lot easier to do in 3D space, whereas mechanically it can be a little bit challenging, accuracy could be off, and uh, there might be a little bit of guesswork, uh, and, and a lot more room for error. Okay, so now we've imported our CAD uh, file for this project into Polyworks Inspector, and we're ready to start putting together our inspection. Uh, the very first thing we need to do is make sure that we're working in the right unit. So for this particular piece, uh, it is all in inches. Uh, by default, I have it set for millimeters. So down in the right-hand corner of your screen, uh, we just need to change uh, from millimeters to inches. As you can see, there's a whole list of different uh, units that we can be working in, whether it's microns, centimeters, meters, um, inches uh, for today, all the way down to U.S. survey feet, if that's something you feel you need to get into. Um, for generating the features on this CAD object that we're going to start measuring, uh, it is as simple as using our feature selection tool. And you just hover your mouse over all the different uh, components that you're going to want to measure. So for these cylinders, you just start clicking them and it will label them as such. Um, I know for more cylinders, we are going to be measuring the internal radiuses. So I'm just going to go ahead and start generating those as well. And then we want to put together all of our different uh, planes. So we're going to be measuring uh, all the different faces. So you want the overall thickness of this part uh, and then uh, all that different kind of components. So I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly select all those. Okay. 
and one for the back face. So now that we've generated all of our measurement features, uh, we're going to start actually putting in our actual measurements. Uh, and so we're going to just kind of work from left to right across here. We're going to start with uh, this, this picture right here. Uh, I'm going to show you the first few. It does get a little bit repetitive um, in, in terms of actually picking all the, the measurements, but I'll show you how to do them. The one thing to kind of pay attention to, I guess, is a little bit important is the tolerancing. So that's on the uh, bottom part of our drawing. Uh, for these first two pictures, it will be 1 16th, which is 0.0625. Uh, and then for this third one, uh, the tolerances are a little bit different, which is actually labeled on the drawing as 10 uh, plus or minus 10 thou. Um, so we'll go right ahead. And we want to pick our measurement tool. And so we just basically can pick two features. And then we'll put the measurement out here in space as it was on the drawing. And now in our bottom window is our geometry controls. So for this one, um, you have your nominal measurement, which uh, the CAD is, is built correctly according to the drawing. Uh, it is two inches. Uh, measured will populate once we bring in our, our, can, our um, scan file. And then tolerance is the one that we have to uh, put in manually. So 0 0.0625, which is 1 16th, and minus 0 0.0625. We can have that there. And we can actually set this as a default um, option now. So we don't have to type it in every time. 1 16th can be uh, an option that we just rapidly click for all the other features. Uh, so that saves a little bit of time. Some one of the nice customization features in, in Polyworks. OK, so I went ahead and did another uh, cylinder to cylinder measurement here. Uh, the next one we're going to do is uh, we can do plane to plane. So we'll do the outside to outside. It's supposed to be six inches here. And so we want to basically be able to select this plane here. And we'll select this plane over here. And we want to place that measurement up here in space. And so now the Y distance uh, as a default is already can be set because we saved that. Uh, is 0.625, which is 1 16th, uh, so 6 inches. So that one is ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and do a few more of these plain ones. I actually found one that's a little bit interesting here. Uh, so this measurement from the very top of the piece to the inside of the, uh, the cavity in the center is supposed to be 1 and 3 eighths. Uh, the CAD model here, it is 1.41, uh, whereas 3 eighths would have been 1.375. So if we needed to correct that for, for the purpose of the inspection so that it's accurate to the drawing, not to the CAD file, all you have to do is in the, the geometry controls down at the bottom here is manually change that measurement to what you want it to be. So you want it to be 1.375. And now that's going to be uh, measured correctly. Uh, so you can see here it's updated on the, on the screen. So the next feature type that I'm going to show you guys is, uh, so we've done now a cylinder to cylinder uh, measurement plane to plane measurement, uh, but you can mix and match these, these features interchangeably. So if we want to do a plane to a cylinder measurement, uh, it's, it's the same process. All we have to do is select that and then select the plane that we want to measure it to. And we can just place that again out in 3D space. Um, and so that's measuring 0 0.075 on the CAD. It's supposed to be three quarters of an inch on, uh, on the drawing as well. So that's going to work. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of those. And then we're going to look at the angle feature. With all our distance measurements now input, uh, the next one on the drawing is going to be angles. So here again, we have an uh, angle creation feature uh, measurement tool. We just have to select the two planes. And now we can stick that measurement way out here in space. Uh, and so it is 45 degree tolerance uh, by default is going to be one degree. On the drawing, we actually want it half a degree, so we're going to select 0.5, and that's ready to go as well. The next one uh, is going to be diameters. So for this, we can close that tool, and the first six cylinders are all uh, the ones that we selected, uh, the, the main ones for the bolt-up. And we can do all of these at the same time. So uh, nominal is uh, 13 sixteenths, which is 0.5. 8125, so that's accurate here. And again, our, our tolerance is going to be 0 
625, which is 1 16th. Okay, so with the diameter on all of our major cylinders is now put in, there's one last little feature that we got to do, and that is uh, the radius for this little inside round here. Um, and so that one, we've got cylinder 9, I'm just going to select that one here. And rather than diameter, we want to select radius as the measurement we're going to be doing. Um, it actually did populate as one quarter here, which is what it's supposed to be. Uh, plus, plus or minus, of course, is going to be 0.625. And uh, that is going to be it for, there we go, uh, for all of our main dimensioning on our, our piece here. So the last features that we're going to put into our model here uh, is the internal dimensions for this little cavity in the center. Um, so the overall diameter from inside to inside is going to be 3.59 inches plus or minus 10 thou. And then for the, uh, it, the back wall to the start of this little radius here is supposed to be 2.4 plus or minus 10 thou. So fairly easy to do uh, using the same method we were before. So you pick the back wall and let's say we want to pick this dimension here. So that should be 2.4. Uh, in the CAD model, it shows us 2.3, but we can force that to 2.4 uh, for the inspection. And plus or minus is going to be 10 thou now. Uh, so we can go ahead and do the rest of that. And then, all right, well, we are nearly there. So we have now created all of the measurement objects and uh, put in all our, our distances, our diameters, everything that's on this drawing, we've put into our model. So now we just have to create a report. So we're going to look here. I selected all the uh, the features that are from the first drawing on the left there on our on our from our drawing, and we want to go click on our control reviewer, and from just the selected objects, I'm going to highlight all of them. And I'm going to create a view. And what that's going to do is basically this this what you see on the screen here is going to be the, the view in the report. And I can show that right here. So our report is automatically created. Um, so we can see here, there's the control of uh, the, the picture, the snapshot that we took. And then all of the features are going to be on the next page. So we can zoom in a little bit here. <clears throat> you can see the, the, the name of the feature. Uh, the type of measurement that we took. Nominal uh, measured is obviously going to be blank. We haven't brought in our, our scan model yet. And then our tolerance. So once our scan model is, is aligned, it will automatically pull the measured, uh, the deviation, and uh, if it's going to be pass or fail, and if it's out of tolerance, it'll tell you how much. I'm going to go ahead and do the other two views, and then we can go ahead and bring in our first scan and complete our inspection. All right, so we have created our inspection. We have built our report. The last thing to do is actually uh, run the inspection. So we are ready to bring in our scanned object. And uh, I know this was scanned in millimeters. So we'll handle that. And so you can see it's here. And the only thing we have to do is align it. Uh, so we're gonna do an automatic uh, best fit alignment. You can see, okay, here it didn't quite align that great. Uh, so what we can do is help it along. So we'll do pick some point pairs. And all you got to do is, oh yeah, pick, here we go. Pick common uh, areas on each scan. Let's say here, it's about here, here, looks like down here. And we'll see how that goes. Now it's a lot better. Close. So our scan is brought in, it's aligned. Uh, it looks like it's aligned actually pretty good. Uh, we are able to now pull all of our measurements. So we can extract all measured. And now if we open up our report, it automatically updates with all of our pass fail components. So you can kind of see here the nominal, uh, what it actually measured at, the tolerance that's built in, and how close it is. So here, 
Um, a good example of that cylinder nine, so that's that little tiny radius on the inside, uh, inside cavity, is supposed to be a quarter inch. It is actually uh, close to about a third of an inch. Uh, so obviously it's going to be a fail. It'll tell you how far out of tolerance that is. Just looking at uh, the rest of our report here, there's two other fails. Uh, and so that is on the internal cavity measurements. And where that is, is from the back walls to where the uh, it transitions to that little 45 degree. Uh, it's supposed to be 2.4 inches and uh, it measures at uh, closer to 2.1. That may be because the radiuses are a little bit big on here. So we know that the, the corner radiuses are close to a third of an inch instead of a quarter. So where this is measuring is uh, is going to be thrown off by the, the radius of those little cylinders uh, in here. Um, either way, it is a fail. Um, and you can tell exactly by how much it's out. It's almost a quarter of an inch out. But uh, that's it. That's how quick it is so to, to generate these views and uh, get the measurements uh, accurately for our piece. And so that's it. It's really that easy. Uh, to, to build an inspection template like this for, for as many features as there are in this particular inspection, uh, it should take you no more than 20 minutes. Uh, once you get really familiar with this software, you can get even quicker. Um, you know, if you one needed to get a little bit more complex, so let's say you had some GDT controls in there, really it's only uh, a couple, couple clicks. Uh, it's no different than inputting the, the distance measurements or an angle, anything like that. Uh, so if you had a whole line of these things to produce and uh, you wanted to get 100% inspection on all of them, it really doesn't add very much time. Once you have the inspection template there, you just scan the piece uh, to, to generate an STL file and you bring it in and it will spit out a report with the, all, all your pass-fail according to the tolerances that you, that you put in. If you guys have anything else that you would love to see, let us know. Uh, you can reach out support at myeng.ca or anywhere in the comments section. Thanks for watching.